Alright guys, I'm Gizno. Welcome back to another reaction video. Today we are back with some more Ruby Ice Queendom. Today we're looking at episode 9 titled, My Dream, Your Dream. Considering what happened in the last episode, honestly that title makes a lot of sense and it's not great. Uh, last episode we got Ruby stuck in her dream. She's in a dream inside of a dream. So, I mean like, I it's honestly not that crazy not crazy to think about like you know this actually happening to a character um but like it just definitely feels like not like things are hopeless but things are kind of getting really out of hand uh i don't really know who can save ruby maybe it could be john uh maybe it could be uh maybe she has to reunite with uh blake and yang but like i don't know how they're going to be able to enter her dream because you know Xion is on the outside so things aren't really looking good for ruby or for team ruby um right now and especially since we're on an actual ticking time clock with weiss about to be like you know comatose forever and then we also have blake and yang stuck in like this white fang section of the dream things are kind of all over the place and i love it i mean like the last not uh, the last bunch of episodes have been so much fun this back half has been very you know action-packed and very um just like a lot of things are happening and i really really like it so if like this episode continues where the last episode left off and continues that pacing it's gonna be great unfortunately i'm sure some of you guys have noticed that episode 8 is not on my channel and that's because for some reason i don't know if it's because something is corrupted or whatever but whenever i try and edit that episode the computer gets really like finicky so i kind of don't want to try anymore and i'm just gonna move on to hopefully it doesn't happen again hopefully it was just that episode and hopefully it doesn't happen for any of my other reactions which by the way go check Check those out in the channel but hopefully that will be the last time that ever happens uh especially since you know this is ruby hopefully it doesn't happen in ruby anymore I'm, I'm hoping that um but yeah even though you guys haven't seen didn't see that episode i really did enjoy it my only complaint really is that i just wish the fights were a little bit more you know were longer like the fights the little thing that we gotten have been really good but they've just been so so short so i'm hoping that they like you know kind of just let it let it ride for a little bit longer you know so we could see more of the fight uh but other than that i've been loving the creativity i've been loving the characters i've been loving the uh the the way that it looks and everything and i'm excited to see what we got in store uh in this episode so i don't want to waste any more time before we get started though, i just want to say thank you guys for watching i really really appreciate it if you guys end up enjoying this video then you can like the video comment subscribe all those things really help me out and subscribe unless you, subscribe unless you guys know when to upload next so let's not waste any more time and get on with the episode Oh, oh, Ruby's point of view with, vi with vines everywhere. Oh no, Ruby's dream. Does she not notice the pointy thorns? Oh, this is such a nice memory, but it's also kind of creepy because of all the vines. Uh-oh. Things are about to get weird, isn't it? Oh, talking about the, what was inside the sillies. Uh, you see, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it, but Oh? Lonely? Are you lonely, Ruby? Oh She misses her mom? Is that what she means? Is this like Weiss what Ruby thinks Weiss is thinking or so she has her own private bed. I just don't know if this is like really Weiss's thoughts or if it's just Ruby thinking. Oh, maybe this is the actual Weiss. And she entered Ruby's dreams? Ruby, no! Wake up! 
So maybe this is like Dream Wise putting Ruby to sleep, you know, because she's precious. This is like her own personal dreamscape, so she doesn't try to escape. Oh God. Okay, good. They noticed. Oh God! What the hell? Is it? It's not enough. The whole, the whole back the vines from consuming Ruby, or maybe that's what it's doing. I don't know. Jesus. I kind of wish Yon could do more. She's kind of just stuck behind a desk. <laughs> Go, John! Wake up, Ruby! Get out of there! Hey, nice! Maybe we need this sword, we need to bring it with us. We're not gonna know until volume 5! Is it time for her to go into the coffin? I did know that we were going to hear a Weiss song in this episode. Oh? Klein is frozen. God, I love how this song is being incorporated into the actual plot. I don't know. It's just really, it's really cool. Also, everything's frozen. Oh? Okay. So far, it looks like good stuff is happening. Maybe? Like she's absorbing the positive stuff, but nothing's changing. Also, I just noticed that Jock is holding Weiss's sword. Oh no. Are we too- we're not too late. I thought once she goes in there, then it's over. But I, I don't even know anymore, if we're being honest. Meanwhile... Hmm. Oh, Jesus Christ. The Death Stalker is just there. Hmm. That was the... Isn't that the good White Fang symbol? The positive one? Not the red one. There it is. Blake's... Yeah. Careful, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Oh! <laughs> Things are getting a little bit too Luigi's Mansion for my liking. The hell? Shadow people. More shadow people. Whitley? That's just such a funny stance to see Ruby take like with the gun and everything. Because it looks so much like a gun. Oh, can't go back. Oh, all of the doors? Oh no! Oh no! Poor Ren and Nora, they're not even involved in this anymore. I feel like that sword's got to do something. How? Yeah, exactly. There are no more tracks. Okay. I like how she's like taking all the little pieces as like hints. You know? Alright, let's go. Child army. <laughs> All right. Turn into the attack on Titan. Right. Maybe if you were more specific. <laughs> Look at the little wife. She's like yeah. here again in the silence. This whole room has just been like. Completely messed up now. Oh? Did she wake up a little bit or? Okay. Oh, is it because Ruby's on the move now? We're off on a long. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. We're back with some more train transitions. Oh. Are they blocking the way? What the hell? Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay! Nice, Ruby! Oh, look at her go! Look at him go! 
Yes, free magic dust. Oh shit, alright, Pyrrha! <laughs> Damn, nice. Are we trying to go inside of this big Nicholas? And Weiss, okay. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? We appear to be surrounded. Oh no, she got the book with her. Here we go. Oh, are we gonna get the actual big fight with Weiss versus Ruby? I hope so. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Jesus, careful! You guys don't get your freaking heads blown off. Oh no! If that thing gets loose, then the nightmare's in. <laughs> Come on, John! You gotta fight him. <laughs> oh no! Damn. Damn, it doesn't waste any time! <laughs> Ruby! Speed! Oh! Oh shit! Yo, we need a uh, backup, and we need it now? Oh shit! Uh Oh Jesus Christ. Oh <laughs> let's go. <laughs> the fondness are here. Door does. Oh shit. Yo yay! Look at her in the cake! Yo, what is that sword? Jesus Christ! Oh shit! No! Oh my god, I just need all of the episodes, please. It definitely does feel a lot more like we're en we're entering the final parts of Ice Queendom, like the stage has been set. No doubt this isn't where the final battle is going to be. I have a feeling it's going to be somewhere else. But like, this definitely like you see like all the soldiers there and now the White Fang have arrived and stuff and Yang with that cape. She looks really badass. I, I think the cape suits her better than it does, um, than it does John. Like with, with Yang, it feels like she's like this wandering adventure. So I definitely think that that cape suits her. I have no idea why she's wearing it or where she got it from, but I think it definitely suits her. But like we're starting, we're definitely starting to get more into the end game. Uh, I like the conversation that Weiss had with Ruby at the beginning. You know, this was actual real Weiss, and it seems like they were both talking. Uh, and I liked how they were relating to each other and like you know Ruby trying to explain herself and things like that, and like you know Weiss. You know, trying to, being more clear, like, you know, she's like, yeah, you do things that get on my nerves, but I, I still think of you as a precious teammate now. So I think that's, that was pretty cool. Um, and then it just, you know, that creepiness with the vines was also really good. Like, oh, it's crazy how all you have to do is just like, add those vines and have them move a little bit. And it's like, oh, wow, this scene is nice, but at the same time, very creepy. Um, it was pretty easy for Ruby to be broken free out of the dream, which is a bit of a shame, but um, having Ruby learn from that dream and like come up with a, with a plan based off of the conversation that she had with Weiss, I thought was pretty good. But it was pretty easy how she was able to just get out of that dream with John's blade, you know? We had Weiss getting ready to go to sleep, uh, but then being interrupted. Nothing really much to say about that, except... I guess we're getting really close to the end game there. Uh, like she's no longer coming into the room, getting her hair brushed and sitting down and asking for the report. Now things have just gotten really crazy. So now the whole room is a bit like glitched out and a bit different. You know, the nightmare seems to be consuming more and more of the dream. And it's only a matter of time before like 
the whole town is just covered in vines like we don't need the nightmare doesn't need this like mirage just illusion anymore he's getting or it's getting close to taking over weiss's brain um the song the mirror mirror on the wall i thought it was pretty cool um it was a lot less like energetic a lot less dramatic um than pira's but this one was pretty nice and quiet um it was cool seeing like uh, negative weiss be in front of positive weiss and they're both like you know holding hands like this uh what does it mean i don't know because she seemed to absorb like the little weisses i guess she's absorbing it into her body and locking it up maybe that's what's going on like uh, absorbing and locking up positive weiss as well as the little weisses like just further like hammering home how much she's bottling up her her herself you know uh and then we got to the part with uh blake and the white fang i'm always a bit like tensed up when they start talking about this sort of stuff because i'm like are they gonna do it right and like she talks about how like she saw everyone in the uh schnee dust companies like executives and stuff like that she saw them all as people who were against the faunus and like while they probably weren't like monsters who hated the faunus like she's talking about how not all of them are like that but like and while that is probably true there were still a lot of people who were happy to or who, who were okay with like just turning a blind eye and just pretending like everything was fine and pretending like the faunus weren't like you know being weren't, weren't suffering because of the schnee dust company and they were doing all of that for convenience you know so they were not 100 percent out of the woods but of course they don't deserve death um which i'm sure that's what she was saying like she doesn't because you know the white fang killed a lot of Shini, uh dust company uh, executives and a lot of employees um but like i don't think we should just like let them go 100 percent. i think it was important that uh she say something like you know while they aren't 100 percent in the clear you know murder isn't the answer or something like that you know just so we don't like 100 percent make them out to be just okay normal people um and then after that yang and blake kind of got into this like argument because of their different views uh kind of was there and then it was gone yeah ruby moved the train and then we got into that final battle which you know it was pretty good not final battle but we got into that fight and you know it was it was good once again it's hard because they gave us such amazing animation for the first three episodes when it comes to their fighting and then now it's been pretty average you know not terrible well like the cgi was pretty bad but the 2d animation hasn't been terrible at some points it's been really good like in the last episode or in that train fight when john was involved but like nothing has been able to beat those three first episodes and i feel like the fact that we're in ice queendom now and we're in the actual ice queendom plot that animation and that that like you know that high quality should be put into this plot too not just things that we've seen like ruby versus uh the grunts or ruby versus the, the nevermore you know i feel like I'm, 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 we're still missing that uh they they've gotten the tension down and got they've gotten like you know the music and the directing and everything but like the animation like it just doesn't look as good as it should as it could be you know uh and i'm just going by the first three episodes you know that were really really good uh but like i said like the tension and stuff like that they were able to build it up like i liked weiss on top of the ice pillar and then letting her cape go i thought that was pretty cool uh it was really cool seeing like the calvary show up with that you know the we had the the uh dream fondness show up and then we had once again yang in that amazing cloak and then blake which seems to be a fusion of adam and herself which i honestly to be honest like you know full transparency i already knew i i heard that something like this was gonna happen um and there were some people who were pretty upset about it i could kind of see why like i'm still waiting i'm gonna still wait for the answer as to why she's dressed up like this if it's just because she wants to you know be like um she's trying to be like the leader of the faunus she could have had they could have what they could have done was show like a flashback of her and her dad who was also uh the leader of the wh white thing at one point and then after that have her dress up like him i feel like that would have been a more powerful moment as opposed to like sith lord blake here uh who's dressing up as adam who like you know did pretty terrible things to her 
Like, I'm waiting to see if they're gonna uh, make this into a positive thing or a, like a Sith Lord sort of negative. Like, they're already sort of doing that. They have like Weiss in the blue and then Blake in the red. And her her weapon too is like a fusion of Adam's weapon too. So I'm just gonna have to wait and see really. Uh, the artwork at the end was really good as always. Um, the artist did a really good job, like Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna have to wait and see as to why Blake is dressed like that. I hope they give a really good reason. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty okay episode, I'll say. Um, I guess I'm just waiting for that hype again. Uh, and I feel like we haven't gotten in this episode. We got, we got the emotions in the beginning of the episode, uh, which was really good, but I'm hoping for more, you know, more intense emotions, more intense hype. Uh, but yeah, tell me what you guys thought about the episode down in the comment section down below. Tell me what you guys thought about my reaction. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, bye.